Welcome to the SNET webinar. I am Frederick Weiss. And I am Mike Hensgen, Director of Sales here at SNET Communications, coming to you live. So without any ados being furthered, let's get to the topic at hand, defending against downtime, empowering your business with cloud phone services and business broadband internet. So we'll start off by talking a little bit about SNET and how we could help you defend your uh, business against downtime. So, Mike, we've been in business for a little over 17 years here. I believe if I do the math correctly, that's uh, somewhere around uh, 2006. And we've been providing that white glove service, that tailored fit solution uh, for everyone, you want to go into that a little bit for everyone? Yeah, absolutely. You know, over the course of the last 17 years, we've had the pleasure of serving, you know, nearly 3,000 individual clients. Uh, those clients range in size from the very small 10, 12, 15 phones uh, with internet services all the way up to some of our larger customers that have well over 2,000 uh, users. Um, and as unique or as varied as the size of those organizations, so are the industries that they represent. And that really speaks or lends itself to that white glove service and that, you know, it's not a one size fits one size fits all solution. We really do customize uh, our, uh, de our design and our deployment, our implementation based on the client's business needs. Excellent. So this is a mantra that we talk about quite often that we are real people accountable for your success. We provide that personalized support for every customer whether that's uh, you know all year round, 24-7, 365, right? Mm -hmm. And Mike, we have some pretty powerful stats right here. Empowering businesses, a robust infrastructure, servicing businesses nationwide. I'm sure some of these people uh, might not be aware of like uh, hypothetically what a NPS score is and, and some of these mm -hmm. other uh, might be uh, familiar, but maybe you could go into some of this. Yeah, absolutely. So I alluded to the fact that we have nearly 3,000 individual clients. Well, that represents a little over 300,000 individual users on our network. Uh, I'll skip ahead to the far right. We offer five nines reliability across our two data centers, one in Chicago, one in Sacramento with a private 10 gigabit connection uh, in a fully redundant uh, environment. Uh, and I will focus in on the two uh, items in the middle, specifically our client retention rate, which is 98.7, uh, unheard of in our industry and something that we hold very near and dear to our heart. We learned very early that it was easier to keep a customer than it was to get a new customer. Uh, so that's a, a, a metric that we watch and monitor very closely on a monthly basis. And last on this slide is our net promoter score. And for those of the, you that don't know what a net promoter score, means is that is the likelihood that an individual customer would recommend SNET to one of their colleagues. And I would challenge you to go online and take a look at the net promoter scores of some of our biggest competitors, specifically Nextiva, Vonage, 8x8, or Ring Central. Uh, I'm sure you'll be uh, pretty stunned to find that it is nowhere near uh, the 80 plus net promoter score that we're able to document. I agree. I, I stand behind that. Definitely. Uh, let's talk about now the SNET ecosystem, Tailored Fit Business Cloud Communications. So we provide a large scale um, ecosystem of services. Absolutely. Yeah. So we are not a one trick pony. Certainly, uh, you know, our flagship product is our UCAS and CCAS solutions. Uh, but we have a number of ancillary products and services that go uh, or complement very well uh, those flagship products, specifically our ability to provide connectivity from simple broadband to fiber to cellular backup anywhere nationwide, as well as our ability to add on some um, enhanced networking capabilities from a, an SD-WAN or software-defined wide area networking perspective. That not only manages quality of service of voice, but can prioritize mission critical applications across the wide area network and also provide firewall capabilities from simple stateful firewall capability all the way up to full unified threat management and protection. Excellent. So simple solutions built in success. When you bundle your cloud phone service 
with business broadband internet, you can defend your business from downtime and streamline your workflows with one provider dedicated to your success. So what does that mean for uh, somebody reading this, Mike? Yeah, absolutely. You know, so one of the biggest struggles that a small to medium sized business faces, especially when they have one provider for internet, another for voice, is potential finger pointing. In other words, if the voice quality is bad, they're going to blame the internet service provider. Uh, the internet service provider is going to blame the voice over IP provider. Bringing those services and solutions under one umbrella alleviates that finger pointing uh, potential and secondarily uh, just makes it easier to manage from a vendor relation perspective. Excellent. And we also have three free months of service plus complimentary wireless backup when you add managed firewall. So we have a great bundle that we're uh, promoting and it's just for this quarter. So please go to uh, snetconnect.com slash go. This is going to expire at the end of December. So get on this, take advantage of that and get your free months, uh, your three months free tongue twister, at least for me. And make sure that you also add that managed firewall to get that complimentary wireless backup. So we have a, a great set of statistics here, Mike, that I'm uh, very excited to share. And these have been um, kind of collected through the years, um, I think, uh, starting around 2020 and uh, to now. But uh, these are pretty pretty much up to date. 10% of small to medium-sized businesses report that their per-hour downtime cost was more than $50,000, mm -hmm. while 13% of that cost was between somewhere mm -hmm. around 40 to 50 k and for 25% of small to medium sized businesses, the per hour cost of downtime was between 20 to 40K. And, and I've also seen something as recent as 9,000 to 10,000 uh, a, a minute. So, it, you know, it, it depends on your industry and your business, of course. And lastly, 25% of businesses worldwide reported that the average hourly downtime cost of their servers was between 300 to $400,000. Yeah, I, you know, I would not argue with any of these statistics. And although the numbers are uh, very uh, pretty significantly, you know, it just depends on the business, right? So as an yeah. example, you know, if you're a roofer uh, doing, you know, residential roofing and your phones are out an hour, well, a new roof for my house was $21,000. And if I called during the hour that the phones weren't working, I would have called the next guy, right? doctor's office think about how expensive medical procedures are but one example i can give you point blank that i know firsthand is what we've done for our marcos pizza uh customers with their cellular backup uh on a friday or a saturday night a really busy pizza store anywhere in the country can do 70 to eighty thousand dollars in business between 7 p.m on a friday to 10 p.m. on a Friday. So think about those numbers. Even on the smaller side, that's 15, 20 K an hour for downtime. Yeah, that's uh, pretty significant. It's definitely, uh, if if you weren't thinking about this, it's very eye-opening and uh, definitely highlights the need and the challenge. So the impact of downtime beyond costs, we're talking about things like loss of productivity, loss of opportunities, kind of like what you were talking about there with the mm -hmm. franchise, uh, loss of data. And the one that I find uh, very interesting too is the damaged brand image, which is to me probably one of the more uh, harder ones to repair. Because if you go to you know whatever that company is and they're not available, it's really hard to build back that trust and to, to get to, to build back that that bridge once it's I once it's I burst. agree with you on that, Frederick. Not only is it hard to repair that damage, but it's it's very difficult to um, put a dollar figure on that, right? Yeah, but when yeah. you talk about organizations that have a nationwide presence, a nationally recognized brand, with the pr prevalence of social media and all the various outlets that you know information can get out through, you know, a simple what happened to the uh you know xyz pizza store in tulsa oklahoma yeah yeah exactly 
So now let's talk about how to how SNet defends against downtime. So the meat and potatoes here. So we're talking about fully managed internet connectivity services, managed firewall, secure SD WAN, SASE, which is not just my attitude. It also stands for something, Mike, which is secure access service edge. Uh, maybe mm-hmm. you could talk a little bit about the uh, value here of these managed services and why that is uh, so important. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, if you go to your Comcast, your Spectrum, your Verizon, your Charter, your Cox, Mediacom, et cetera, for a simple broadband connection, it is just a best effort. Here's your circuit. Good luck. It could fluctuate wildly depending on traffic in your neighborhood or your business park or your strip mall or what have you. In our world, we provide you with a broadband connection which is fully managed and monitored. Certainly we do our best to make sure that those bandwidth uh, allocations are appropriate to your business and that those uh, allocations are adhered to. From a managed firewall perspective, you know, in many cases, it's a, a set it and forget it type situation. However, in certain instances, depending on what vertical a particular business might be in, uh, they need somebody to manage and monitor that more carefully, much more uh, proactively. You know, perhaps they are in uh, the financial services industry, or perhaps they're in the medical services industry. They have compliance concerns. Well, those managed firewall services that SNET provides can certainly uh, fit those requirements. Secure SD WAN. Uh, you know, five years ago when SD-WAN became sexy and a little bit more of a household name among uh, IT nerds, um, it was really for the bigger boys, right? It was for uh, large, large corporations that had multiple connections and could afford the latest and the greatest. But because it is has been so successful and taken off so wildly with any number of industries, regardless of size, the pricing has come down dramatically. But what it offers your end user clients is, is it first off, the automatic failover from uh, one circuit to another circuit or to a cellular backup uh, is a wonderful thing. And it's automatic and doesn't take any human interaction or intervention, right? So that's huge. Uh, the fact that the SD-WAN appliance can prioritize mission critical data based on application performance parameters that we design, right, is key to the performance of that application across the wide area network. And secondly, the SD-WAN appliance can also send out that network traffic based on network health. So the appliance is smart enough to see that the Comcast or the Spectrum, or I should say the broadband, right, I won't throw anyone under the bus, but is smart enough to see that the broadband circuit is fluctuating wildly. And that, therefore, send that mission critical sensitive application out over the other uh, circuit or the other connection, which is a little bit more stable at that point. Okay. And then SASE, you know, that's kind of a a newer phrase. It's a, it's a VPN capability on steroids, but what's unique about that Frederick is that it's much, much more than VPN. Uh, It's the steroids that make the difference. And that is that it pushes out the security uh, protocols from the headquarters, the corporate entity, what have you, out to the edge. So that if I bring my own laptop and connect to corporate assets via my SASE application, as a corporate IT executive or a corporate IT person, I don't have to worry about that joker's who knows what brand, what software update, what kind of security issues, what kind of viruses on that laptop. Exactly. All right, now let's jump into simple solutions for defending against downtime. So effortlessly protect your network by combining your cloud phone system with business broadband internet for seamless uptime and performance managed by White Glove Solutions. So we kind of touched on this a little bit. And again, we have this great promotion, which is get three free months of service when you switch to SNET plus complimentary wireless backup when you add managed firewall for every business continuity support. And please go to snetconnect.com slash go to learn more. Really appreciate it. And we'll uh, happy to get this going for you. 
And again, this promotion is just until the end of the quarter. So we really want to, uh, to sign up and provide these three months for you. So why combine cloud phone service with business broadband internet? So we got a few uh, bullets here. We got reliable communications, seamless uh, connectivity, technology ecosystem, which is kind of self-explanatory, but we'll dive into this, and white glove support. Mike? Yeah, you know, again, I alluded to this earlier, and that is, you know, vendor consolidation and reducing the potential for the finger pointing uh, that you often see when, you know, company A is providing the internet and company B is providing the uh, VoIP services. Bring it under one umbrella, alleviate the finger pointing potential, get one vendor to work with, one vendor uh, to grow with. And that really leads into the ecosystem. As I'd mentioned, you know, SNET is not a one trick pony. You know, many of our customers have been with us for multiple terms. And I think the, the reason they've stuck with us for so long is that, you know, we have been able to provide services that complement those that they already have. We have a firm understanding of their business and their business initiatives coming down the pike and have solutions to offer to help support those initiatives. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mike. So benefits of building with SNET. So uh, we have enhanced communication capabilities, improved collaboration, scalability, and flexibility. Mike? Absolutely. And this just goes back to what I just said. You know, we live and breathe with our clients. So their needs are our concerns. Their challenges are our challenges. So as I suggested, um, not just are we a UCAS, CCAS provider, but we have a whole host of other solutions that we can provide to allow them to reach their goals from an from a organizational perspective by way of the technology that SNET provides. And we have one more section here with benefits. We have reliability and redundance, security and business continuity and mm -hmm. user experience. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, one thing that I love to, to hit on is, you know, when I talk to many prospects, I say, you know, it's not when or if you're going to go to a UCAS or a hosted solution. It's just a matter of when. Right. right. And the reason I say that is because, first off, the disaster recovery and business continuity options that you have in a premise based world cannot mirror that which are inherent in a hosted environment. For instance, if you lose local connectivity, your ability to have an auto attendant or phone calls ring to desks or forward to cell phones are minimal at best. In the UCAS hosted space, that's table stakes, right? So exactly. that's just one example of the business continuity. And then from a user experience perspective, you know as well as anybody, you know, in any given business, an HR person utilizes their phone and, and communications tools differently than an engineer does, differently than a salesperson does, and certainly differently than an executive does. So at SNET, we're able to custom tailor the tools that we provide from a communications perspective to each and every one of those audiences to complement their, their methodology for work, where they work, how they work, and with whom they work. Exactly. Well put. Thank you, Mike. And this, you were hinting on this one uh, just a little bit ago, Mike. We were talking about how SNET saved a Marcos franchise a twenty thousand dollars in one weekend. Uh, I imagine this was actually uh, underestimated. This is probably a lot more than just twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, I would agree with that. But we wanted to make it uh, a little bit more palatable based on the information that we share uh, that was shared with us. And I think it was, I wasn't, I'm not quite sure that it was actually, uh, I think it was a Sunday night. So I wouldn't say it was a weekend, uh -huh. but it, uh, it, I guess in theory, and it was a weekend. But that being said, um, you know, th those numbers are real, you know, and, and this is just a pizza store, right? And this was not even an hour of downtime. This was a portion of an hour of downtime. But the point of the matter is that this national entity, saw the value of having SD-WAN and cellular backup in each and every one of their 1,100 plus 
stores nationwide to the point where they mandated that technology stack across the enterprise. So the fact that we saved one store $20,000, that's great. But the fact that a nationally known brand, their C-level executives saw the value enough to mandate that exact same standardized setup across the board for each and every store in the United States and a number, about 200 more down in uh, in the Caribbean uh, over the course of the first quarter of 2024. Yeah, that speaks for itself. So we're going to close out by talking about a few different things here, but specifically our offer, which is going to expire uh, in December. So you have until December 31st to get three free months of cloud phone service plus business broadband internet and plus complimentary wireless backup when you add manage firewall. So again, please jump on that if you want to find out more go to snetconnect.com slash go to find out more about that uh, deal. Love to get you signed up and uh, provide you some more information. Uh, so let's get to our uh, Q&A, Mike. We got some Q&A. It is question and answer time. You feeling it? Love the tunes, man. Love the tunes. <laughs> I love dancing to that uh, personally myself. Uh, we're going to answer these questions in the order they're received. we got a, a bunch of questions coming in. Uh, we're not going to go over everything, so excuse me. Um, but we do want to get to our raffle, so we'll try to make this in a, a few questions. And um, uh, I, I see one person. I, I'll get to you personally. Uh, I know who you are. Wink, wink. Uh, here's a good question, though. I think everybody's going to like. Uh, what is the difference between regular firewall and your managed firewall services? That's that's a great question coming out of Texas. Thank you, Texas. Mike. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, you can go to, you know, Best Buy. You can go to Office Max, Office Depot, Staples, whatever. I don't even know which of those are even in business anymore. Point of matter is you can go buy an off-the-rack firewall. And in some cases, that'll work beautifully for your business, Right. But in many cases, if you're dealing in the financial services industry, or if you're dealing in the medical industry, if you have PCI compliance concerns, if you have multiple networks, for instance, for your internal employees versus that of your guests, sometimes a managed firewall is more appropriate. And as suggested earlier in our discussion during today's presentation, uh, the SNET managed firewalls uh, range from stateful firewalls, pretty straightforward, all the way up to fully monitored, maintained, proactively monitored, unified threat management and protection. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mike. Let's get to our next question. Again, we're going to answer these in the order they have come in. Why should I choose your business broadband internet over another uh, ISP? That's, That's a great point. question. And I one I get asked often, right? So if you go to any of the broadband providers that I've mentioned today, Comcast, Verizon, Cox, Charter, Spectrum, Mediacom. Who did I miss? Anyway, point of the matter is if you go to any of them, it's best effort, right? Here's your circuit. You call in 1-800 broadband provider. You wait 30 minutes, put in your account number two or three times. Finally, you get someone on the phone. They can't help you. They need to redirect you. At SNET, it's a fully monitored, managed, proactively managed solution. And if there is ever an issue, you call our support line. Uh, we, this is something we look at on a monthly basis. Last month, our tickets, 70% of our tickets were closed at first level support in less than 17 minutes. If you've ever called any of the providers I just described, it's often 17 minutes before you even get a person, let alone your ticket resolved. Yeah, well put. It's that white glove uh uh, support that we provide that VIP treatment that really uh, sets SNET apart, especially uh, in, in times when you really, really need it. Um, yep. So uh, let's go, let's take one more question. I uh, got somebody here coming out of uh, Las Vegas. All right. Awesome. Hey, welcome Las Vegas. What is the complimentary wireless backup? Oh yeah. We talked about this. What is a complimentary wireless backup, Mike? 
Yeah, so uh, our complimentary wireless backup is a triple SIM enabled device. So it'll work off of AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon, depending on which um, signal is greatest, and we test them all. Um, and it provides you with one gigabit of service to serve as a backup. Now that backup can provide internet for your voice, your data, or your voice and data. It does, however, come with a one gigabit allotment of data transfer. So in many cases, be prepared that there may be a slight overage. But when you consider some of the numbers that lost downtime can equate to a $24.95 upcharge for a single gigabit of internet traffic is a small price to pay, a small insurance premium, if you will, for the uh, ability to alleviate or, 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 or avoid the downtime and the costs associated with said downtime. Uh, agree. Yeah. Uh, you know, it goes back to that brand image, uh, several different things that we discussed. So yeah, absolutely. So, Hey, that being said, everybody, we really appreciate you joining our webinar. We ask you again, please go to snetconnect.com slash go and uh, uh, take advantage of our three free months of that uh, cloud phone service and business broadband internet. Uh, we really would uh, appreciate it. And, uh, See if we could get that going for you. Uh, again, that offer is just exclusive until the end of the year. So please jump on that. And again, just, uh, you know, for me, Frederick Weiss, VP of Marketing here at SNET, really appreciate you uh, sharing your time with us. And thank you so much, Mike. Yep. Thank you all. We hope to hear from you soon and happy holidays to all. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you.